Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for mid-July. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about you and the other person, whether you're single or not. So we're just going to see what's happening here. Um, what do we got for Taurus for, you know, anywhere from now until the middle of July? Let's just go with that, all right? Um, what do we got for Taurus and the other person? Mm. Taurus, you may you may be this is you know well let's put one over here and it could go vice versa but I was intending for this side to be you and this side to be the other person. You may have your eyes on somebody. You may have your eyes on a man that has a really big heart. You may be dealing with a water sign, but it doesn't have to be whoever this man is. This man. Um, <sighs> This man has good intentions. And you may be looking for this man. Maybe you're looking for this big-hearted man, right? Over here, we have somebody here that is acting foolish. Ooh, yay. Yeah, we have somebody here that that is emotionally unavailable. You you know, it looks like you're doing quite well. You got this new approach. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're a force to be reckoned with. And you probably do have a man that sees your beauty. They see your passion. They they see your 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 high vibration. So you probably do have somebody who you are interested in or you may be turning your back on somebody, you know, because it looks like your back is probably turned. Maybe you're turning your back on this water sign or whoever this man is. This man is maybe still watching you, but maybe you're, you're taking your power back because this is a force to be reckoned with. Feels as though we got somebody over here that's emotionally unavailable acting foolish, you know, holding on to something, holding on to some some sort of baggage. We got somebody here that is is needing to move in a new direction, but reluctant to let go, reluctant to let go of their maybe reluctant to give their heart away. Maybe this person is reluctant to um open their heart reluctant to fall in love but we got this person that is is moving this person is moving in a new direction right this person is this person could be going someplace else we got somebody here that is very overwhelmed holding on to something trying to prove a point Looks to me like you're getting prepared. You're getting prepared for something, Taurus. Maybe you're you're waiting. You're waiting for somebody to arrive. In the meantime, you're working on yourself. You're in your power. You're 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 just you're raising your vibration. You're you're feeling very liberated. You're feeling very, you know, free, you know. I think that you're probably turning your back on this person. That's what it looks like to me. I think that you're 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 waiting. It's like you you know your worth, you know your value. I think you're taking a new approach. You're feeling in your power. You're turning your back on somebody. And don't think this man or this person doesn't see it because they do. This person sees it. Oh yeah. So Taurus, it looks to me like you've learned some sort of lesson. And and I think that there's there's a you're not coming together with this person. So you've decided to leave them behind. There's no compromising, there's no cooperation. This is unrealistic. I think you have come to the agreement or you within yourself, you know, I think you've come to the uh <sighs> conclusion that you know there's no coming together with this person this is unrealistic you know it's time for me to break free and you're completing this cycle I think you have learned a lesson I think that you have accepted that whoever it is that you're turning your back on that you know 
I think that you've accepted that there's no coming together with this person, uh, that there's no changing, that this person is never going to change. I think that you've accepted that and you're standing in your power. And I think that you are being highly respected for that. I think that people are, you know, seeing your newfound liberation. Um, <laughs> Ooh, this guy's watching you. We got somebody who's watching you. We got some some somebody that is very shady, very sneaky, um, sly individual. He is probably while he's at work. He's probably he's probably watching you while he's at work. Um, he's he whoever this person is. He his expectations have been dashed. He he sees that the passion has dwindled. I feel as though um whew, this guy is, is moving away. He's moving away from, from the whole situation. He's 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 doing his best. He's working really, really hard at hiding. He's working really, really hard at proving this point, whatever it is that he's proving. He, he's he's putting in a lot of effort to probably uh, leave his his feelings for you behind. I feel like this person, um, you know, he he's he's definitely watching you. He 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 is unstable. He's insecure. He. is definitely unstable and insecure. He is. He is. He knows what he lost. He knows what he left behind. He knows that he threw away a golden opportunity, whoever this person is. I feel like this person, he's a, he, this, he or she in this circumstance, but I'm saying he because I'm looking at these cards. This, this person, um, knows what they did was wrong. They know that, but they're, they're a victim. I'm the victim, I'm the victim, I'm the victim. This person has a victim mentality. And, you know, they, they will not budge. They will not uh, beg for anything. They will not beg for forgiveness. They will not come with anything uh, solid or stable because they have a point to prove. They're trying to prove a point. They're trying to prove that, you know, how strong they are, whoever this person is, the person that you're dealing with, or the person that is on, whoever this reading is for. I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson and you have turned your back on this person. This person is absolutely still watching you. I feel like this person um, may be experiencing some sort of loss, okay? Maybe because, you know, something isn't materializing in their life. And it may not be materializing because of their foolishness, because of their inability to open their heart. This person has tried to move on. This person has tried to work with somebody else, but it hasn't changed their heart. It's like they're still unavailable. They probably they may have gotten themselves into another situation foolishly, and it looks like you know there's still no passion there. Um, this person is lonely. This person it may be. Um, not, this person may not, may not be seeing situations clearly. I feel like we have somebody here who is not aware. They're not aware of something but they need to take a break they need to take a time out they need to go within this person needs to figure out who they are and what they want and what what really matters to them whoever this person is this person is definitely exhausted they're exhausted because they're not you know they're not in a passionate situation it's like whoever you're dealing with there's no passion there they're, they're not passionate about whoever it is that they're dealing with okay there's no passion whoever you are dealing with Taurus they are not 
There's no, there's no passion. Okay. There's no passion. There's no growth. And I feel like this person is definitely exhausted. This person may be going through some sort of midlife crisis, but they're staying where they're at because it's maybe it's stable because it's something to hold on to. It's just, there's no love here. There's no passion here, but there's some sort of, maybe there's assets or there's some sort of, there's some sort of, uh, it's something to hold on to. That's the only reason. This this person may be a cheater. This person may be thinking about cheating. Or this person may, you know, be wanting to go in a different direction. But they, they're only holding on because it's something to hold on to. They got a point to prove. So over here with you, I think that you're turning your back, Taurus. I think that you are turning your back because... Whoever you're dealing with, I think whoever you're dealing with probably didn't want to compromise. They didn't want to, you know, make any changes. And I think that you have taken back your power. I think that you're still healing. I think you still have some ways to go. I feel like um, there's an, that you're there, that you are healing. I think that you are, but there's still some 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 time to go. I feel like um, you're not as happy as you could be, but you're 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 really 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 close. I feel like you have time. You have times of sadness. You probably go. You know. You probably have that on that roller coaster where sometimes you're doing really good and sometimes you're not. There's there's belts of sadness here. But I feel like you are in the protecting yourself, and you're patiently waiting. I think you're in the, you're getting prepared. I think you you are, um, probably not rushing into anything. I think that you're just taking your time, um, and I think that you you're probably about to be presented with a a new opportunity, a new path is about to open up. The thing is, is that you're you're in the process of letting go of the past. You're in the process of turning your back on somebody um, that may have ghosted you. This person may have left you behind. This person may have cheated on you. This person um, may have been unavailable to you, emotionally unavailable. They just didn't open your heart. And I think you're in the process of, you're still letting it go. You're still healing from it. You haven't completely healed. You have not, okay? I feel like you have a new opportunity, a new path, a new possibility that is opening up right in front of you. And I think that you're taking your time with it. I think that um, you know you got a new prospect. I think you do have a new prospect. You definitely do. And I think that you know you're you are probably reluctant to you know you don't want to go backwards. It looks to me like you're you're trying to keep things under control. I think that you are probably reluctant to step over that edge into a new relationship because you maybe you still you haven't healed you haven't completely healed yet um you haven't completely closed that chapter yet you haven't completely stepped over the edge i think you're getting prepared to and you're really really close i think that right now you you really don't have anything to offer anybody you're probably not really grounded you might not be wanting to give anything to anybody right now. I think that you're probably holding on. I think that right now you're holding on to your own stability. You're working on your own abundance. You're working on yourself. I don't think that you're ready to give anything to anybody right now. You may be dealing with a situation where, you know, you're not feeling stable. You're not feeling secure. Maybe you need to work on your money. Maybe you're working on your job. Maybe your main focus is your business. You know, maybe you're your own boss. Maybe, you know, whatever. Maybe your main focus isn't on a relationship. It's on you right now. I'm just focusing on me. I'm not going to rush into anything. So I feel like this at, during this time, you're probably not going to be very accepting. You probably may receive an offer from somebody that, you know, you may be like, you know, I don't, I can't give to this right now. I can't give to, you know, this. And you, this person may really have feelings for you very very quickly you know they they feel attracted to you very quickly and you may be 
you may retreat. You may be like, no, I don't, I can't do this right now. I just, I'm, I'm in a state of recovery. You know, I'm still recovering from my heartache. I'm still recovering from my pain. I'm still recovering from my, from my financial whatever. And I just can't give to, you know, you right now. So you may not be ready to come together with whoever it is that's making an offer to you. I do believe that you are getting an offer of love. But I think that you probably, you may not accept it. You may not accept it. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be re... re dealing with anybody, but I feel like you guys are about to um, step into a whole new world, okay, with this world card. You have. I think that you are in the process of closing a chapter, and you are about to step over that edge. You are about to, you know, really step over the finish line. So this could be the time when you decide, you know, when you make that decision to just break free you to liberate yourself from this situation once and for all you know maybe this person you know comes back maybe this person you know comes back and you 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 get the closure you you decide you know what I don't have anything to offer you 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 know that could be the case it's like you're turning your back on, on a love offer and this could be somebody that you know refused to change refused to step forward refused to um, be held accountable for their actions. I think that you will be rejecting somebody this during this time. I feel like uh, whoever you're dealing with, they are mentally exhausted living this lie that they have been living, living in whatever they've been doing, okay? Because there's some lies, there's some deception, you know? This person is definitely looking back and, you know, I feel as though they have this victim mentality that they're a victim and that I think that you have learned your lesson and you have somebody else. I think that you have a new love connection and it's unexpected. Unexpected offer of love is going to come in. Be prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. This person, this person, it's beautiful. It's perfect. This person, if you are the woman, she probably, she might, if you are the woman, you, this man or the feminine, whatever, this man probably has dark hair. If you are the man, this person may, may have dirty blonde or blonde or something like that. It doesn't have to be. It just happened to, I don't know why I pointed that out, but I did. This is Brat. This is Cupid's arrow. This is Cupid bringing somebody into your life unexpectedly. get prepared this is an unexpected offer of love you may you may you know this is a choice and that's why I see stepping over the edge as well I think that you are probably going to be presented with a choice to really close that last chapter and maybe begin a brand a whole new life or a whole new well it's a whole new beginning with somebody else so get prepared. Get prepared for an unexpected opportunity in love with somebody that you can just be yourself with. Good luck.